Hello everyone, this is Luxury PL38. Before I go on for today's pack of the day, I just want to say thank you so much to all my subscribers. And the uh, milestone giveaway is still open until next Friday. So if you're interested to participate, um, the conditions are everything down below. And um, one of the conditions is to follow me on my two Instagram account. One of the Instagram account happened to be where I will be putting my items up available for rehoming. And there are quite a few items that I've decided to let go. And unfortunately, this is one of the items. As you can see, I'm wearing my white glove. I do actually like this item, but due to the circumstances, I have to let this go. Today's bag of the day is the Chanel Duval Tote and it is the one in the brown. I have another Duval Tote. In fact, I have three Duval Tote. My first one is the one in black and I actually purchased this about a year ago. And I do have another one which is in fabric. And this particular one is in leather. This is the brown and this is the regular size default tote. And it is in that H gold hardware as you can see from the hardware. Some of the plastic stickers is still intact like that one over there. And that's the back. And this is the side, and this is the other side, and the, there are four feet on the base. With the default tote, it, they do come in two different handles. The first one is basically just for your top handle, and the second handle, it is adjustable. You can pull it out. So it does feel like the on-the-go from Louis Vuitton because you do have two options for the, sh for the shoulder strap or for the top handle. But the default top from Chanel actually was released a few years back. So it was before the Louis Vuitton on-the-go. And the default tote is extremely popular because when they appear on the Chanel boutique, they are usually sold out very quickly. So let me just show you the inside. That's the care booklet that it comes with. And this is the authenticity card. It is the 28 series. gonna take those plastic out the interior is a suede material it is very very smooth and it has a very strong uh, boutique fresh smell because I actually bought this half a year ago but it's just been sitting in my wardrobe I think I've only ever used this once. As you can see, the plastic sticker is still intact on some of the hardware. And the chain strapped, sorry, the zipper puller also still have the plastic sticker on both of them. They do have two front and back pocket, zipper pocket. And they also have the chain here for your keys if you decide to use it. And let me just show you the inside of this bag. And that's the bag. So the last sections, I'm just going to compare the default tote with the on the go. Just for sizing purposes, the on the go is slightly larger than the default tote in terms of the length, in terms of the height, 
and in terms of the weave see the height it is about that much taller on the default sorry on the on the go and in terms of the weave it is also wider for Louboutins on the go however they both have two separate handles for you to choose from but pricing wise Louboutins on the go is now currently around 3,300 to 3,500 Canadian dollars whereas the default tote if Chanel does not increase the price if it is still what it is and um, we don't know about Chanel pricing at this time uh, the default tote was actually priced just under 5,000 before the price increase it was around 4,700 to 4,800 Canadian dollars so there is quite a substantial increase but this is all leather and the interior as you can see it is suede and obviously you have to add your GSD and HSD on top of the retail price for this but yeah I've decided to let this go and it is still brand new because I've only ever used this once and it will be featured on my Instagram account and if you do have any questions please let me know and once again thank you so much for watching